<laughs> Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? Trying to catch up with you. You ran so fast. If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. Well, we can charge them for parking illegally, but that's about it. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Bravely, uh, what was it? Bravely, uh, did Sir Robin, did Sir Robin run away? Oh, I got the D. I was that good at it, I got a D, guys. <laughs> Um, presumably I took a huge amount of damage there, uh, the, more than I was expecting. Right. Well. Chapter 2. Escape from Brule. Oh, we've been playing this about an hour, amazingly. Okay, guys, I, I want to run through this this uh, this chapter, okay? And then I'm going to ask you guys whether you want me to carry on or not. So let's give this a quick go, shall we? View this episode, yes. Right, this is Valkyria Chronicles. Sorry, it's a Martha. turn based strategy game with a okay. very anime element to it. now just in case you were wondering I'm the bad guy see what she's wearing take a good look at that shawl she's a dark suit and that explains it I thought this place stunk now I know it does so we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one PU it's a regular pig farm in here I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave, now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. You Your know what? Would be dangerous. I'm the hero. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we going to do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Is. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. Yeah, he's a fencer. <laughs> View this episode. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, he's left us a 50 foot long fence post. With this we can take on anything. Dad's tank. Whoa. And it's wearing a shawl, so it's a darkson. I don't know what they are yet. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. Or shopping trips. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. What? Die? But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work. What's next? 
All right. Well, you well, know it is. You took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school, once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. That make for an interesting conversation about six years' time, would it? Mummy, where was I born? Well, it is a bit offensive, isn't it? Isara, we oh, hello, roll? Star. Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're going to pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss. Move out! I want, I want uh, my, my sister doing the driving, a pregnant woman in the back, and we're going to stop on the way out of town to pick up my bird. Right, okay, it looks like this one's actual action. Let's go and give this one a go. To infinity and beyond. Here's the brief for this operation. You can't give the briefing. You're not even here. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate at the, on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably hate heads for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, that's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Our tank's bigger than your tank. Until we rendezvous, the Brawl Town Watch will do everything they can to keep the gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Okay, so we win if the enemy tank is destroyed, they lose it, we lose if Brawl's main gate is destroyed, and all the usual other stuff. Okay. Right, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If we can't stop them here, where can we stop them? Okay, so... If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. And the tutorial continues about sandbags and hand grenades. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, your unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. Excellent. When focusing on defense or ending one's turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. I will build something that includes turrets. I will destroy your turrets. That is why the hand grenade is used is explosive power. Only this explosive power can destroy sandbags. Press the tab button, the weapon toggle button, to cycle among your options to hand grenades. In this battle, Alicia possesses some. She's got a nice pair of hand grenades, absolutely. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase units will recover one hand grenade. They just find it lying on the ground, presumably. Uh, hello, Stephanie. Okay, so, do we actually see the tank at the moment? No, presumably that's going to come in the next phase. They're defending things, so we've got a town watchman, a town watchman, and Alicia. And all we can see at the moment is a tank facing the other way, and a shock trooper. Well, that's rather shocking, isn't it? Okay. Let's start with you. Let's see what this looks like. And... Okay, well let's crouch, and let's see if we can shoot this this shock trooper. That just seems to be the uh, logical starting point. Uh, 
Uh, that did a lot of good. Okay, so end the current action. And let's go to red shirt number two. Crouch as well. Go on, get this shock trooper, guys. Oh wow, he's either very well defended or they're, they're even they're using wet soap this time. Okay, so end the current action and let's go. That's the main gate. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so let's do you crouch and hand grenade. Ragnade. Ooh, okay. And a Galleon one. B type hand grenade. Well, let's, let's use one of those. Okay, so we can't actually throw one of those very far by the looks of it. Go for it. Oh yeah, we did a lot of damage to him there. Okay, right. End the current action. Let's let him move forward. Oh, we have one more action. Alicia, shoot again. Right, so the tank. Oh, oh, look, the tank has body armor and treads. Let's let's actually have a play with that. Let's shoot there and see what happens. No. Oh, we did a lot of damage there, didn't we? Okay, end the current action. End the current phase. I don't think it's an electric grenade. It was called Ragnade. Hello, Laura. Oh, thanks for coming on by. Okay. Okay. Oh, he looks like he's got a bigger gun. was a leader apparently. Hey hey. Right, so we've got about Ragnade. Here we go. Ragnade. A small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player phase. Sometimes a unit has suffered heavy damage, needs the help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. Yet another product of Ragnite ore. Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Why take two types of medicines of the shower when you can just wash and go? Yes. Select it with the tab button and then press E and select a target. Place the crosshairs and email it. Uh, yeah, okay, we worked all that out for ourselves. Right. Okay, so we'll start off with Alicia. My turn, okay? And, okay, so grenade and go into target mode. 
Is that going to be close enough, do we think? Let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, that was clever. Looks like we blew up the wrong, uh, um, <laughs> the wrong sandbags. <laughs> okay. My turn, okay. Your turn again. All right. All right. And you are written really hurt, so we've got to do something about this. All right. Fire. Oh man. All right. Okay. I think there's a fairly good chance we're going to lose this one. Right, okay, we'll leave you there. End the current action, yes. And... See if we can get some of these people dead. If we can get this guy over on the right-hand side dead... That'll be good. Yep, yeah, that's him down. And the current action. Okay, and back to Alicia. Let's try this ragnade out, shall we? By the power of Grayskull. Okay, that wasn't bad. Right. Unfortunately, that's our turn. Yeah, we have really, really good conversations in our chat. Oh dear. No, if this keeps up. Okay, are we done? We're, uh... Oh great, another shock trooper, just what we needed. Alright, I think the best way of describing how I'm doing with this is completely and utterly pants. But... Welcome has arrived! Hey, we're all safe. Okay, so there's Welkin with his tank. So we, the best thing we can do in here is get in as quickly as possible, blow up that existing tank. Entering combat. It just sounds rude. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. About tanks. Tanks possess the firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to detect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground troops to hide behind. Unlike ground troops, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost hit points each turn. Tanks also consume two command points when selected in command mode. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the e the turn's end. Okay, well that makes sense. So we just go through this wall. Hostile sighted. Yep. Oh, it's a tank. It's a galleon tank. It is scary, scary how he managed to look pathetic even with that helmet on. Welkin, you have a tank? Mm, you know, I'm just pleased to see you. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. 
Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. Dramatic pose time. Where is the tank? Oh, it's over there. Right. Ah, we've used up our... Let's just shoot something around here, shall we? Oh, no, I'm attacking with the tank. Tanks have three major means of attack. Explosive armor shells, explosive more shells, mounted machine gun... Um... Okay, that all makes sense. Anti-armor, mortar shells. Hi guys. Hi guys. Okay. That's taken a bit of the pressure off and next turn I think we should be able to get close enough to that tank to do some damage. Um and now we need to sort out this stuff at the Clean gate. Out. So let's go with Alicia, the majorly wounded. Oh, that was great. She got stuck on the scenery. Grenades. Okay, that didn't kill him. X. Oh, joy. Well, there goes my plans for the evening. Game over. Retry. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Do we retry the battle? Or should we stop and move on to the next game I've got planned? It's up to you. And no, I'm not telling you what the next game is going to be.